I think that CNAs, Hux, Tex, all of like the nursing aides are such a underrepresented part of the healthcare team. Good morning, you guys. I had to install two car seats again this morning because our set is watching the kids. So I am not starting our vlog video the way I normally would, but I have one shift today. So let's drive to work together. I'm bringing a bunch of homemade bagels to my coworkers this morning and one for myself. I think it's National Tech CNA Week and one of our amazing techs slash hucks, which is health unit coordinator, it's like the secretary of the unit. She's been with us for years. She's actually the one that does all of the like restocking of the hair supplies. If you saw my restocking hair supplies video. So I made a bunch of bagels. I brought a bunch of cream cheese and I brought a couple little like skincare goodies for her because she loves skincare. I think that CNAs, hucks, techs, all of like the nursing aides are such a underrepresented part of the healthcare team. I know like as nurses, we always are like, you know, nurses deserve more and like they deserve to be celebrated and they do, I'm not taking away from that. But I feel like the CNAs kind of get lost in the mix because the nursing peeps kind of overshadow in a way, but they definitely are like the center and core of our unit. A couple shifts ago when I was working as charge, we were so busy and then all our secretary had to go home and it was very difficult for us to like be taking all the calls, consulting all the doctors, like making all the pages, just doing all the little like things that they do that make the unit flow. And I swear your unit secretary or the techs know where everything is, how to get a hold of anybody. They are so resourceful. I love when we have like CNAs that become nurses on our unit because I think they just thrive. A lot of people ask me like, hey, I'm in nursing school or I wanna be a nurse. Like what's some good things that I can do to make myself more just like presentable for being a nurse. Presentable is not really the right word, but you get what I'm saying. And. I always will say getting CNA experience. If you can work a little bit during nursing school, I'm not saying like you have to work, but if you can swing like doing a PRN position where you're just doing maybe like one shift a week or just a couple shifts a month, CNA experience hands down is the closest nursing experience that you can get without being an actual nurse. And before anybody comments, my hair is down. Yes, I will be putting it up before work because I cannot work with my hair down and I know you infectious disease people out there. We're looking at each other right now. I promise I'm putting my hair up. Okay, I am at work. I am going to put my hair up and I have all these bagels we got to carry in. So I'm gonna get going so I can truck my way into work. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.